Hello there everybody, Brandon here with another fishing unboxing video for you. Oh man, that doesn't sound right. Hello there everybody, Brandon here from an... Uh, Hello there everybody, Brandon here from BBTV Fishing is my happy place and today we have the Bradley P10 Smoker for the unboxing in Christmas 2022. So I'm quite glad that we got this and I'm excited for this upgrade. So come along for the ride, let's unbox this video. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, well the box looks pretty good, right? So this is the 4-rack smoker. And this is a full electric and uh, the difference between this one and the older version is uh, the hopper for the smoke generator and the puck insert is uh, a part of the unit. So let's take a look what we got here. Let's take the side foamies out. So the packaging is pretty good. The brand has got a pretty good name. So it's New Year's Eve tomorrow and uh, we've we'll we got some fish smoking to do. Oh, the bag's pulling up. Okay. Oh, wow, okay, it's a little bit heavy. Hold on, hold on. Wow, guys, this is really heavy. Okay, it's really hot. Well, it's not that heavy, it's more awkward. What else we got in the box? Nothing. We got the box. It's huge. So we got uh, four food racks. We got one oil drip tray, water bowl. We have a grease bowl, one handle, two meat prongs, one flash, USB flash drive, and we have the power cord, okay? And then it says right here, it has pretty good PID control, uh, thermostat, it's timed, and fully automatic, basically. So the picture right there, and it says right here, there's a, it looks like it comes with a free 120 biscuits, but it does not. Okay, so here it is guys, let's go open it up. So that uh, first look, we have a stainless steel and we have this nice silicone gasket here. Okay, so what do we have here? So let's take a look how this sets up. Two boots. We have the power cord. So we got a three pin female. And it looks like uh, like a BNC connector here. And it's keyed. I don't know if you can see that guys, but this basically has a male end right here. But it has a kind of a nub on the side, so it's not threaded. So yeah, super excited guys, Christmas. We got a smoker. So it's supposed to set up in 10 minutes. And up, up here, we got this little I don't know what that's for, but it's a little tray or hanger. They got these little. Oh, maybe when you're hanging stuff, you know. When oh you're yeah, when you're hanging fish. Stuff. Yeah, it's a great idea. Oh, this is some sturdy packaging, guys. I can use this to tie my lures. I love that thick foam. Recycle. Yeah. So here we go. So there you go. So we got the hopper right there. So each puck is supposed to be designed to run for 20 minutes. So I can't wait to see how it loads. And there's that port right there. That's where you put the USB. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay. So this model right here, it's a thousand watts. So 120 volt 15 amp circuit is plenty for this unit. This is right here, 1,000 watts. Okay, there you go. So we got an on-off switch, and we got a three-prong, 120-volt plug. So we got this right here. So we're gonna do, plug that in. Maybe we can turn it on just to see how it looks. Okay. And then we have the other end. So this cord right here. So it's about, I don't know, uh, four feet long. Yeah. Let's go put our one probe in. Whoa! It goes in super easy. It's keyed, but it's like it has like a spring, spring collar on it all you gotta do is literally just a push in so let's see here try it again there you go just push it in 
One is bigger than the other. It almost looks surgical. So right here, let's take a look at this. Oh, more neat packaging. Okay, so we got, okay, we got this. So it's not, I don't know how sturdy that is. Okay, we got this one little Petri dish looking bowl. And then we have this black one. So we're gonna have to figure out what this does. This one looks like it's a louver system for the top. So let's try and put that in. Big one on the left, small one on the right. So what do we have? So we got four racks, guys. We have four racks and we have the smoke diffuser right here. So you put it on that opening right there so the smoke comes out from below, comes out of there. And that just diffuses the smoke. We have the heat covers. This is actually two elements, one in here, one in here. Pretty neat thing. So it comes with a two access ports right there so you can remove those elements and it also comes with a removable wire harness as well that's, that's what I read and then at the same time we have this um, our little hook here the, the hook tray and it has a neat little spot right there and we have the hopper dispenser right here so that can fit all the biscuits so a pretty neat door we got the see-through window and the rendering will go here renderings I mean this is actually the drip tray and you know this you'll notice there's a little hole right here which will go to the drip tray okay and this is the water bowl it says you're supposed to change that every two three hours so it has a little opening underneath I don't know if you can see that around here which is supposed to dispense the burnt biscuits in there okay let's look at the door so first off the finish the finish is really awesome guys and then we have this uh, gasket ceiling looks like silicone okay and let's see how good it seals. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. And we've also found that this is a USB flash drive, so you can download the recipes online and just shove it right there. And it also notes that this is not a power supply for you to charge your phone and all that. I totally forgot to read the sign right here. It says, do not return to the store. The Bradley smokers have one year manufactured warranty. We will be, we will be glad to assist you with any assembly or questions that may uh, that you may have regarding our smokers, please contact our friendly customer service team. The number's right there, so I'm gonna leave that below if you guys are interested. And then let's look at the control panel right here. So we got a dial. We got this nice little window there for a display. And we got, let's see, we got about power on, lock. Not quite sure what all the other ones are. We're gonna have to figure that out when we turn it on. I also did some reading. This is actually the, the uh, high temperature reset. It's located behind this panel, so you got four Phillips head screws. You can take that off, and it actually gives you access to that internal uh, thermostat or internal uh, temperature probe. So actually, inside here, this little thing right there, here, that's actually a temperature probe. Okay, so we have a meat thermometer, meat temperature probe, two of them, and we have that one internal temperature temperature probe, and that's basically it. So that took about. Uh, 10 minutes, and uh, I guess there's nothing left but to turn it on. Oh, look at that! Nice and bright. I hear noise. If I touch that. I don't know what's going on. It says it's open. Okay, so it says that we gotta go online and uh, take something out from the online world and put it in to the USB. Okay, so we'll come back. I'm gonna read up on the instructions and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so here it is. We are outside. I put this in this, in this table. Just because it's, a, it's a, just because it is close to the ground. So we're gonna try and give it the seasoning method. So you're supposed to run it for two hours. So I'm gonna give that a try. And then as well, they recommend you guys to wash all the hardware in there because uh, they don't want you smelling metal and uh, oils or whatnot that uh, they use through the process. So we're gonna try and season this and burn off whatever chemicals or whatever else is in there that you don't want imparting on your food. Okay, let's go do it. We have the Bradley Smoker uh, Alder. So I picked up some alder. I know you guys are thinking, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be forced to buy these. I'm gonna be forced to buy these from Bradley, but you know what? 
they're freaking handy they're they're 20 minutes each you know how much you're putting in and at the same time they're, they're clean sawdust looking wood so we're supposed to season for two hours so that's pretty cool so we're gonna put six okay so let's put that in there so we got six in that hopper so i picked up all this stuff at my frugals so this is a 48 biscuits for 21.99 so you gotta be invested in the process and right now i'm investing on the bradley so let's take a look if this is a good investment let's go get that extension cord see you guys in the next step let me tell you about that notch so right here the thought of they've engineered this little notch right there to prevent them falling out and at the same time on one end we have these little bends so a little side note guys i tried to get the non-stick uh racks i'm not sure if these are non-stick but the non-stick ones, they're for the older smokers. They don't fit, so I'm gonna have to return that. So let's put this over here. Boom. Up next, we're gonna use the smoke diffuser. So there's that hole that I was talking about. That, that, that just goes down on top like that, okay? So we got two books right here. We got the recipe book. So I, I did a little bit of reading. There's a little app you can download on your computer which allows you to pre-set up all your recipes okay into that flash drive and you put it in here and uh, you can only download one recipe at a time next let's look at the manual seasoning methods light wash on the racks and on the drip trays and on the bowls okay uh, we're gonna season for 150 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours so it says right here that we have to reach a temperature 66 degrees and 150 degrees Fahrenheit and smoke for two hours and in, in the or until the biscuits run out so let's go ahead and try that out all right power is on and it says in here we got to go to 66 degrees so let's wait for it to boot up right now it's at 13 degrees and you can press this button to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit so we'll go with Celsius and then we're gonna go for so right here, there's a signal for the smoke time. You see how there's a kind of a haze on each side. And then we have, the, this is the heat time, I believe. So the heat time will go for two hours. Okay. And then I believe you just click it. Okay, and then the smoke time will go for two hours. Okay. All right, so that should be it. I think that's that simple. Okay, and then we're gonna leave our louver half open so it just pops out like that and that's the cut out on the bottom end so you can see how it kind of opens and that's a look at that it doesn't allow you to fully close it because i don't it says it right in the man you don't want it fully closed so we're gonna go about halfway okay there's the bradley smoker on its way yeah it already increased temperature to two degrees guys so let's take a look i'm quite excited guys oh and the, so let's go through the buttons of it so we got the internal temperature and then we have uh, the hot the hot element timer and we have the smoke time we got the advanced puck forward okay and then we have the meat probes two of them and then we have the recipe menu and then we have the change of Fahrenheit as far as I can see this unit looks like it's repairable and there is a troubleshooting manual and I like that everything is kind of easy to take out well i'm hoping so because right here we got the two elements you can pull that out it points it right there on how to take that out see we got a couple of screws and we got a wiring box here for the wiring harness so I'm, I'm just assuming that you can easily remove those units in case there is an issue which i like that because i don't i like repairing my own stuff so right there guys we're already at 28 degrees hello there everybody welcome back we have now finished our seasoning portion of the video so you notice the, the pucks are still whole. Do you see that? But let's see. You see how easily it looks like it's been fully burnt. So I did do some research and uh, there is some merit to not fully burning your pellets or your wood because at that point in time, it's gonna secrete a different type of flavor and a different type of smoke. So you never wanna burn it down to the ashes and it looks like that's what, exactly what they did. Oh, this one is kind of a half burnt portion. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but they all look like fully cooked pieces. So maybe this was just on the tail end of that burn. 
So here we go. These have been fan cooled and they looking good guys. They're looking good. Yeah, it only goes to 30 is the minimum. Okay, that's fine. And then we're gonna go to timed. Uh, I believe that's the heat. No, for how long? Two hours. And then we're gonna do a smoke. We'll do a continuous smoke of four hours. So the smoke won't stop. Okay, smoke won't stop. You gotta make a decision. Okay, right there. Two hours. Temperature at 30 degrees. Okay, so let's go to 30 degrees. So let's set it up for 30 degrees at low temperature for two hours. And then uh, the next temperature will be one hour increased temp by another maybe 20 degrees. And then we're gonna go all the way to 80 degrees Celsius at the end of that. Okay. Okay, so we're already climbing right here, guys. Just like that. Okay, interesting. Well, this is a little bit of an experiment, so hopefully we can get this right and then improve on the next time. Hopefully our guests will enjoy our meal for the day.